Uh, hello viewers, uh, today's topic is uh, intracranial hypertension or known also known as uh, idiopathic intracranial hypertension and some other names are also used like uh, benign intracranial hypertension or the pseudotumor cerebral you know? uh, It is a neurological disorder that is characterized by the increased intracranial pressure. So intracranial pressure means the pressure around the brain, you know, uh, in the absence of the tumor or other diseases. Now the main symptoms are the stroke-like headache, nausea, vomiting, as well as uh, 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 pulsatile tinnitus, so which means the sounds uh, perceived in the ears uh, with the sound uh, occurring in the same rhythm uh, rhyme as the pulse, you know, and double VN and other visual symptoms, you know. Now if it's left untreated, you know, it may lead to a swelling of the optic disc in the eye, uh, which can progress to the VN loss, you know. Now, a thorough medical history and a physical examination is needed for the evaluation, you know. And if the diagnosis is confirmed, uh, uh, close and repeated ophthalmic exams are required to monitor any visual changes, you know. Now, the intracranial hypertension is diagnosed uh, with a brain scan uh, uh, to rule out any other causes, you know. And the lumbar puncture, you know, test, you know. Now, the lumbar puncture may also provide the temporary or the sometimes the permanent relief from the symptoms, you know, as it decreases the pressure, you know. And uh, some intracranial uh, hypertension respond to medication uh, with the drug acetazolamide, uh, you know, or uh, 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 topiramate or uh, furosemide, you know. And, but others require surgery to relieve the pressure to release the pressure, you know, uh, just to decrease the pressure. And uh, the condition may occur in all age groups, uh, but the most common in women between the age of 20 and 40. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about uh, intracranial hypertension or idiopathic intracranial hypertension or the pseudotumor cerebri or any other disease and medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you very much. Keep watching. Goodbye.